Welcome back to the channel, guys. I've flown all around the world to Thailand. When you think of automotive culture in Thailand, what are some of the things you think about? Diesel drag racing, the crazy river boats, and the wild trucks. I'm here today to check out this crazy scene. And of course, my host right here, Yo, what's up? CB Media. Chad, Chad CB himself. Media. Welcome to Giddy Truck Fest. Yeah. This is a uh, very weird and unique form of car culture. <laughs> it is very weird. It's very strange. They love side mirrors, lights, Michelin men. Massive exhaust tips. And massive exhaust tips. Like, you could take an ice bath in some of these exhaust tips. <laughs> They're that big. I just heard that some of these trucks can't run until about 6 p.m. So, it's a little slow right now. But it's gonna start getting wild. There's very like soon. there's like certain rules, uh, road rules here. Like even when I get my cars towed, the tow trucks are only able to operate during certain times to attempt to cut down on the road congestion in Thailand, which doesn't work. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna show you around here. It's already getting wild. There's some crazy trucks here. About to go check them out right now. This is the first truck that caught my attention. Let me show you around some of the modifications we're gonna see on most of these trucks here. Right off the bat. The wild paint job is just over the top. The owner told us he spent $50,000 on modifications on this truck, which actually isn't too bad considering all the ridiculous things done to this, especially the custom paint job. That's amazing. The number of lights that you're gonna see, the titanium exhaust everywhere. There's Giga Men and then there's Michelin Men. I'm not sure the exact meaning of these, but they're on most of the trucks here. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Look at how big the exhaust tip is on this side. <laughs> you don't need seven when you got one big exhaust tip. That's like, that's about two, uh, yeah, foot and a half wide. Coming out of an exhaust pipe that is <laughs> like three inches, three and a half maybe. Look at the number of lights on here. And then there's titanium just in places that you really don't need titanium on. And I just noticed one thing, the exhaust comes out here, gets split seven times, and then it also goes to the other side, and it comes out the back here and over here too. So there's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 exhaust pipes on one truck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's gonna turn it on for me so we can hear this thing. <laughs> we get smoked out. Hold on. I gotta hear from over here. I bet you can't find a bigger exhaust tip than that anywhere. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, got the air raid siren. Another ridiculous thing about these trucks, look at the mud flaps on here. There are no rocks that are gonna get past these mud flaps. Whatsoever. Did I mention that Thai people love loud music? It's With these trucks, it looks like it's a little bit different style. They're not really about their exhaust tips out the back. They do have a lot of these rear markers. There's like 20 of them on both of these and a ton of chrome. We had Michelin Man on the other trucks. These guys are giddy. This is a different tire company. I wonder if it matches their tires. Yeah, yeah, giddy tires right there. Chad, what's your favorite truck so far? So far, I like these super old school trucks. Ah, okay. Like from like the 1960s Is this like a Mack truck or, or what? Yeah, they're like super old school. And most of these trucks, like back home in the US, these things have been retired for decades. But here, they mostly swap like newer engines in them. And this is still a running, working truck. From like and the 50s use, or 60s yeah, probably? Yeah, and they still use it every day as a working truck here. Dump truck. Yeah. Yeah. 
The trucks are starting to roll in now, and we've got a party bus showing up here. Check this thing out. How does he see out of that? <laughs> oh, literally, it's a party bus. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Look at the speakers. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There's 25 subwoofers in the back of this thing. What? So what this is, uh, like many of the other trucks here are meant to like haul stuff. This is meant to haul people. Yeah. This is a pimped out people hauler. I want to hear the stereo in it. Look at the subs in the back of this. Uh, 25. Yeah. So this is Noki, my trans hey, what's up? He's just been hanging out with us having a good time. This might be my new favorite. It's because I like stereo system. This is nuts. That's a lot of them. Yeah. You, would you mind asking if we'll turn it on? I want to hear what it sounds like. I'm sure you don't have to ask him twice. Oh, I hear it turn on. Here it comes. stereo cars I've been in because it's not in an enclosed space, but that's actually a good thing. The tanker truck with the bozo pipes. That's the first I've seen of that. Got some Japanese styling going on here. Holy shit. The exhaust sounds way different. There is a party bus pulling. I've seen something like this. Not as big in Chad's videos. Look at all the speakers on the outside of this thing. We're going to take a close look at this one apart. Wow. There's like 30 speakers on the front of it. Got the anime on the outside. We've got some fresh new merch drops for you guys on 1320p.com. Click the link in the description below to check it out. Lots of new shirts, hoodies, hats, you name it. Click the link in the description below. It helps us get places like Thailand. Let's get back to the truck action here. Holy crap. That's some of the nicest fabrication I've seen so far Dude, here. Dude, the tubular header. That's nuts. It's like really nice. It's like super high quality platform. Yeah. All the ups. Oh my God, it gets better. Every little detail on this is insane. The exhaust pipes coming out. The screamer pipe on there. This is one of my favorites here by far. What are we doing? Go. Huh? You both can go. Oh, no, oh, no, one at a time. Actually. Oh, okay. But not carbon. Oh my God. It's like a pattern of carbon. Yeah, all that's carbon. Oh, that's a weird carbon too. I've never seen it like that before. It's a, It's got a blue carbon on it. Oh, here we go, geez. Second try. There we go. Oh my. You gotta be careful with the ECU here. Kyle's first ride along in Thailand. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Kyle, you went to Thailand. What'd you ride in? A semi truck. Supras, yeah. Skylines. No, no. no. Drag racing semi <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> this 
stopped. We're good. Thailand's fucking wild. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, man. <laughs> Definitely a ride I will never forget. My first ride along in Thailand in a flatbed pickup truck with a massive turbo on inline six. Let's find out some information about this. I got my friend Noki here that's going to help translate. We'll see what this thing's all about. How, how much power is this car? This is stock is 260. Okay. But it put a, a lot of uh, modification on it. However, there's no dyno okay. for to, to do like a bigger truck. So he gets the made like around 500. Okay. So, so you double, double the amount of horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Is it the original engine in here? Just a bigger turbo? It's the original engine. Oh, okay. So originally it's an Isuzu engine, right? But it's only come with 110 horsepower. Okay. So he swapped it out to another Isuzu a different, engine. Different engine. With okay. 260 horsepower, and then he gotcha. slapped the turbo on it. Which truck does that engine come in? One of the engine from one of the bigger trucks like that. Gotcha. One. Okay. So 110 horsepower stock, 240 out of the 260. 260. Gotcha. How much did it cost for the build, approximately? All this, engine, paint, and everything, all the accessory, one million baht. Okay, so that is, let me Which convert. is around like 30,000 US. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cheap. It's not bad. <laughs> I love, I love the, the cover on the engine. That's such a cool touch. It looks great. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you all. Oh, shit. Look at that. No. Oh, we got the intercooler and the radiator right here. Before I got sidetracked for the ride along and the pickup, we saw this thing roll in. This is one of the wildest things I've seen at this show. Let's go for a tour. First, let's look at the outside though. Train horns, speakers that fold out of the door, tons of lights of course, attached to some titanium down below. We've got speakers all on the outside. We got eight down here, six up here, another eight. A little bit of feedback coming through. Pretty typical, you got a shit ton of wiring. Oh my God. Look at the graphics. Bald Eagle, America, hell yeah. All right, Noki, you wanna go for a tour? Sure, why not? What? There's a mobile DJ station in the center console here. All of your equalizers up front. What in the, the what, what? There's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> All right, we're going up. Wow. Look at all the lights. This is. Beautiful. <laughs> a lot of cool trim work in here. Who are we inviting? We gotta find a lot more friends for this. Oh, the lounge area in the back. <laughs> oh, the sub, oh, I gotcha. <laughs> there's hidden speakers too. There's a sub in here and apparently there's speakers underneath the bus. What? There's a whole row of trucks that showed up since we started drag racing. This truck right here is one of my favorites. Look at all the lights on the outside. And of course it has a ton of side view mirrors. But my favorite part is if we walk inside here, look at the interior. Speakers throughout, of course, custom door panels, custom trim, got the amplifiers up at top here. Four different subs in the back, more amps, a race seat. 
<laughs> Everything's nothing has been untouched in this interior. Got the titanium braces on the back here, just for show. And I think he might be friends with the other two trucks next to him. Same same color scheme, same bracing on this one. 54 side mirrors, and four of them are functional. <laughs> it's all a style. We've got the titanium bracing down here, of course, and then all these additional like rivets are on all these trucks. You see it over here as well. I don't know what you call those really. Rivets, kind of. We've seen a variety of trucks walking around here flatbed trucks we've got the fruit and produce trucks the big semis with the massive trailers behind them behind me is the trucks they use to haul around cows elephants big animals from farms with the big open flatbed in the back here kind of looks like the produce and fruit trucks it's a lot bigger I was wondering where these are hiding we got a row of the old school pickup trucks we saw the Mack truck over there drag racing Look at all these old units right here, back from the 50s and 60s. And apparently a lot of these were left here from when the American soldiers over in Vietnam. They would hang out here in Bangkok and around Thailand. And a lot of these trucks are from the war era. All this is hand stamped. Wow. All this is hand stamped. That's a different style of art than I've seen. Actually, there's a lot of different styles of art that I've never seen before. Here. Like all the patina, yeah. But the combination of the patina with like the lights, it's like so like Mad Max. <laughs> and of course, the Michelin Man. Whoa! All of these trucks have hand stamped art on them. Look at this one. Got Buddha up top here. Buddha on the side here. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. This must be the style for the old trucks. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine how a lot of metal long work. this takes? This is yeah. made by hand. Yeah. You know? Like all of these. It's like Jeez, hand stamped everywhere. and carved. Look, even around all of this. <laughs> it's crazy. I haven't seen that in the new trucks. No, no. Ah. The Michelin man's got masks on. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Just a sock. What the hell? It's a sock? Yeah. What are, are these called rivets or what do you, what do you yeah, consider yeah. that? Uh, yeah, I think these are, yeah, these are rivets. I mean, this is riveted. Same as that. These are just yeah. old school rivets. And the Buddha stuff is so cool. Can you hit the gas? I want to see the exhaust. It's already rolling cool at idle. Let's see what it does now. heart out <laughs> you don't want to come to Thailand <laughs> lights are all on everywhere look at the crazy lighting system and the motions it does it's got to be pretty big money for that setup and the lineup is just full now we started with like 15 trucks here now there's about 200 300 trucks here on the property Noki just called me and told me to get to the stage this got to be good this is about as close as I can get without getting demonetized to that. This is the uh, puppy wash, we'll call it. Not a bad show. And it was for free, too. There's a second speaker truck that just showed up, and somehow they're in sync. They're playing the same song. It's pretty wild to see all like 50 speakers beating the same music. <laughs> Back out here on the drag strip. I'm about two thirds of the way down the track. I want to see what it's like staying down here with these mo monster trucks flying by. The amount
amount of air that blows by when the semi trucks go by. <laughs> it's like it's like 20 mile an hour gust just all of a sudden blasts you in the face. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> that just ran weigh nine tons, 18,000 pounds. That's a lot of weight to stop. Running 12 seconds in the eighth mile. All right, we got another matchup. These look a lot lighter. Not gonna be nine tons. Let's see who's gonna take it. The guy on the right leg's got a lot more here. Did you see the flames off the exhaust when this thing was doing a burnout? Jesus. Look at the people lining the track. Point six oh. just annihilated them. That launch, they hit it after the launch. That was what took it. It's like an episode of Street Outlaws out here. They're running down the track at the starting line. <laughs> this is great. Trucks are coming back around. Apparently, it's best out of three. So, right lane had a way better launch. It sounds like he has more power. If he wins again, he can take it home. But I think, ah, they're switching lanes. All right, all right. We'll see what goes down here. Oh. I told you, man. It's a wild event. What's crazy is the barriers. Yeah. Like, how much good does that do? Uh huh. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Holy shit, out here in the parking lot, not a truck. It's on air ride. <laughs> it is a diesel, though. Corona Mark II. All right. Kind of looks like an old Skyline. That's pretty dope. Video, Thailand is fucking wild. Proper ending to the video for today. 
big thank you to Chad at CB Media for bringing me out here. And big thank you to everyone at Thailand for just being so amazing. I've never traveled to a country where everybody you run into, I've been here for five days, everybody in the middle of Bangkok, everybody at the events have been amazing. Smiles all around. It's the country of smiles. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more Thailand content and more drag racing content. Check out 1320v.com for some sick merch, and we'll see you guys next time.